back in 2018, roughly. Um, had a car, I was actually twerking for Toyota, then I was doing Uber on the side. I decided, hey, you know what, let me take three weeks vacation, so I took three weeks, did Uber full time. Made more money doing Uber, so I quit my job. Did Uber pretty much for almost a whole year, and then the car broke down. So, I decided, you know what, done with Uber, get a regular job, get rid of the car. Oh, I already have a bike, cool. So the big reason why I wanted to interview Angel was because on his Instagram profile, he wrote that he was doing a year without a car. And with all of the van life stuff going on, a bunch of guys at work, and just in culture in general right now, a lot of people are talking about you know, doing van life to get rid of their mortgages and save money and all of that stuff. So I was like, well, dude, you know, um, <laughs> I don't know many people that are going without a car in a city like San Antonio to save money. So I thought that was a pretty interesting topic for conversation. All right, so here I are two weeks later, I'm finally able to do this cycling vlog that I've been trying to do. So what happened on the first attempt, I took the single speed out and I made it about a quarter of a mile and I realized the pedal was stripped. Um, I think what happened was my son and I were wrestling around one night after UFC and kind of fell onto it. And I think it just snapped something in there. But either way, I got a new crank arm in today. I got it on and uh, been out actually being able to ride. I've been, I've been having like this nasty cough for the last couple of weeks. So it's nice to be able to come out and kind of push myself and pour some of that up because I haven't been doing anything but working and doing schoolwork for months. So I'm, I'm hurting today. So how much would you estimate that you saved by not having a car? Uh, so it's been two years since I got rid of the car and I pretty much saved about almost 18,000. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing about me, the car was paid off. So I was, all I was paid was insurance, gas, and maintenance which I probably did myself. I just had to go buy the stuff to do it. And that's how I came up with the cost. And then I was like, okay, if I got rid of the car, got a new car, average cost of a car a month would be maybe 450. So that's how I came up with the 18,000. Like, wow, I saved a lot of money. So come to find out, Angel wasn't doing a year without a car. He was already on his second year without a car. He just hadn't updated his Instagram profile. And like some of the things that he, uh, like some of the questions I had were about like, you know, what kind of changes happened to you? What, you know, what, what, you know, tell me about the experience. And a couple of his answers surprised me. What was the, what was like the biggest change when you went from having a car Cause like our generation, man, we grew up, we, you have to have a car, you gotta have a car. Yeah. So what was the biggest change from, you know, having a car, doing all that to just using your bike? Um, in one year, I went from, I wanna say 350. I was big, I didn't weigh myself. And I got down to 245. One thing I didn't realize how big the second community was here in town. Wasn't expecting that and met since I started doing this, I met a lot of people, <clears throat> a lot of great people. Well, one thing, you know, cannibals, uh, Zeke and them, is, they're awesome. Tiring out them. There's these guys behind me, <clears throat> one of the favorite bike shops that I love coming to. Yeah, because I slowed down my pace of being a car, I actually learned a lot more of the hidden spots, know more of the city that I've never known before because I just kept zooming by them. Yeah, man, I wasn't expecting Angel's answer to be, you know, talking about the world slowing down and like how much he was able to explore more and how much simpler it made his life, you know, especially. And if you like talk to Angel, he's not a stressful guy, right? Like he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't come off as being a stressed dude at all. You know, maybe it's just me, but he didn't come off as being stressed when I was around him. How much was the bike you had at that time? The bike I had at the time, when I started this, I actually bought it straight out for $200. Actually, I had it for quite a while. I just um, got rid of it about a year ago, not because I needed to, it's because I have already acquired two other bikes. I bought this bike in 2019, brand new. Uh, it only made 200, mind you. I cracked, 
three spots, emailed a vent on and sent a picture, clear pictures of the cracks. They sent me, they told me they were gonna, I thought it was frame for frame. Well, I ended up getting a brand new frame, a brand new bike, complete bike. I sent the frame. The other bike was number like 80 something, I believe, out of 200. And when I got this one, besides getting a whole brand new bike, I got number three out of 200. Okay, where's it? Right there. Shit, man. You're looking for a way to make your life a little bit simpler and, and reduce stress and lose some weight and get some exercise and explore. You know, right? it's like the best of all the worlds. Actually, I'll say, if you have an opportunity, go for it because life is so much simpler when you slow it down <clears throat> and there's a lot of things you haven't seen as you're driving, riding around your bike. And you don't gotta worry about anything, not even parking. Because honestly, downtown on my bike, I get free parking everywhere. So Angel's part of the Cannibal Bike Crew, which I did that uh, little mini documentary vlog on the Cannibals a couple of weeks ago. So he's a part of that group. So follow them on Instagram and Facebook and then follow Angel on Instagram too. And I'm sure, he, man, he was like super interested when I reached out to him. So I'm sure if you got more questions, you can reach out to him there. And, you know, he'd be able to uh, fill you in if you've got something specific you want to ask him about it. But yeah, it's a crazy story, man. And then the fact that he had like <laughs> the third out of 200 of those uh, limited bikes after his frame broke, and they sent him a, a full bike, man. So that was really cool of them. All right, so I do want to talk about one more thing, and it's a kind of a serious thing. And uh, I didn't really know how to bring it up, but I feel like it's probably important to bring up just in case um, some of you guys that know me from back in Alabama or uh, may know the individual I'm about to talk about, maybe you didn't know. And I'm sorry if you're finding out this way, but um, one of our old classmates, and he was like a friend of me of mine, you know, and I don't, I hate using that term, you know, it's kind of goofy term, but you know, I don't, I think if there ever was um, somebody in my life anyway, that kind of fits that description, it would be him. And uh, his, his, the guy's name is Jonathan Taylor. And uh, I don't, it's been on my mind like all week. So I saw last week that uh, he had passed away and that uh, a couple of mutual friends of ours were at his, um, his funeral. I don't know if his family's doing anything for him, if it's like fundraisers for his kids or whatever. You know, I scrolled through his Facebook profile. I mean, he looks like, you know, me and him haven't spoken in years, but you know, uh, we did have some <laughs> altercations and interactions in the past and I'll leave it at that. But, you know, we had, we had made friends and stuff like that. But anyway, it's just been hitting me, man. You know, it's, he was one of those guys that just, you know, I'm, he probably felt the same way about me. I'm sure, you know, that just, you know, part of, part of our, we have, we share history and, uh, Anyway, I don't know if his family's doing anything, any kind of fundraiser for his, I think those are his kids. It looks like he has two or three kids on his Facebook profile. So um, if, you, if you know Taylor or you know his family or whatever, you know, please send my condolences out to him and them, um, you know, for their loss or whatever. But anyway, I just felt like um, it needed to be addressed. And uh, anyway, another, another thing to cloud my mind and keep me up at night. <laughs>